The Fog was really started up out of a desire that uh, several of us had who had played rugby in the past at our college clubs or in club settings to bring the game to people who otherwise hadn't been able to participate. So the mission of bringing people into the game who hadn't been able to play before or who had played before and had quit because they didn't feel welcome was the core of the club. And it really brought to the club a surprising array of people. That included gay people, it included people of color who had felt not welcome in their other clubs. And it also included a significant number of straight players who had just not liked the atmosphere of the clubs that they were in. And so I think that the fact that the FOG was founded on that mission made it important even to people who weren't explicitly part of that mission. Sports experience for gay men in particular has not been positive. And so I think we uh, have a safe space for people who we're bullied or had a very negative experience and we accept um, everyone. And I think that's needed because I think a lot of these people's sports experience were not like mine, where I was pretty accepted. Um, and that we could help them find their, their inner rugby beast. And I think that's a great thing. I think with rugby, there's a level of intimacy. You're out there with people, you're putting yourself on the line and you're really laying yourself bare. And to be able to do that where people know your complete story really builds a, a tighter club. I always felt like I couldn't really be my full self playing with the college club. And to be able to play with the club and, and just be yourself really makes a difference. I joined the FOG when I was 27. That was four years ago, uh, back in 2013. I had never played a sport before growing up. I was an indoor kid, loved TV. I never touched a basketball without jamming my finger. And because the FOG is an inclusive team, it really was the reason I was able to join. Uh, somebody like myself, I had no idea what my skill level was going to be. And joining uh, a regular team wouldn't have been something that I felt comfortable doing. Uh, being able to join with friends, but also knowing that I was joining with like-minded people who skill level was a similar level, and also I, I didn't feel excluded because I was gay, or that because um, I had never played a sport before, and um, you know, being a diverse club and a club um, with an ethic of inclusion really allowed me to uh, dip my foot in the water and find something that really took over my life over the, over the last uh, couple years. The FOG goes a lot to the community. Um, we're a club that had uh, struggled in its beginnings and we really owe it to the community to give back. We, at our core, are a club that is dependent on reaching out to the community and, and finding those in need and and helping people and so we should in turn give back and help those in need. We reach out on Christmas and Thanksgiving and Easter. We'll um, help feed the homeless. We have in the past donated much of our fundraising money to women's shelters in the area. I think that's an important part to being a rugby club is be giving back because you're able to really feel more powerful as a club. You're able to show that you can have an impact and you can do that together. I think the beauty about the FOG and especially why I stayed was I got to meet people who had a very negative connotation about sports and that watching someone who didn't realize that, hey, I can make that tackle, I can carry that ball. And even though, like if it was just for a season, I feel like it has affected their lives and make them better so that when they go out, either it's for the San Francisco Fog, or if they go to other teams, or they leave, that they feel confident in themselves that sports is not an evil thing. Sports is something that helps you grow.